Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I was thinking to do or film something that I really love, snacks. I often get questions on Instagram if I eat something after like dinner. Uh, yes, I do. I love snacking, especially when we watch Netflix. It just feels more like fun to watch a video with snacks. I don't know if you agree, comment down below if you don't, if you do. <laughs> If you're looking for new inspiration or want some new snacks to try out for your Netflix shells or videos or whatever, I have five snacks for you that I'm gonna show you and which I really think you're gonna like and especially the last one. So stick to the end if you don't wanna miss that out. And if you like this video, don't forget to click on the thumbs up so that I know that you like videos like these. So now let's get into the snacks. For this snack, you only need three ingredients. We need some vegan chocolate. I have already melted mine in the microwave. You can also melt it on the stove over a water bath. And then we're gonna need peanut butter. I'm using unsweetened, and this one is a little bit salted. You can also use non-salted if you like. And we're also gonna need a banana. All of these snacks are super easy and as always when I make recipes I make sure they are easy. We're gonna start off with cut this banana into like tiny coins. free to use another nut butter such as like almond butter, cashew butter. Now we're gonna add these ones into the freezer for about one or two minutes. And then you just dip them down into the chocolate and cover them. Let the chocolate just slightly come off the banana bite and transfer it over again to the parchment paper and repeat this until every piece is covered. It's already starting to set, but I'm gonna keep this in the freezer for a while because otherwise the banana will become like soggy and not nice. The next snack I'm gonna make I call date bombs because this snack is bomb. <laughs> so here you also only need three ingredients so we basically just switch out the banana for dates. I'm using fresh like soft dates but you can also use medium dates if you like. The first and most important thing you're gonna do is to remove the pit or the seed <laughs> from the date. I only took two dates, but this is actually going to be four snacks because we're going to divide them into halves. Then just take one date and like open it up like this. And then we're going to add peanut butter. This snack is actually pretty similar to the other one that I just made. But yeah, if you don't like banana, this one is perfect because you don't have the banana. These ones are also going into the freezer for like one or two minutes, just so they get a little bit more hard. And now we're gonna dip these into melted chocolate. Now these ones are going into the fridge and not the freezer. You can keep them in the freezer if you want, if you make them like one day ahead. But you can keep them in the fridge as well. So for the next snack we only need two ingredients and one is coconut yogurt. I'm using an unsweetened version and then you also need some frozen blueberries. Then we add a yogurt and give that a stir. And then we transfer these over to uh, parchment paper. Try to like flatten them out without breaking them. We're not done with the freezer yet. These ones are also going into the freezer for about two minutes. I think it's actually just gonna take one minute, but for sure. Minutes. 
Next recipe or snack is gonna be a salty one. So if you like salty snacks, this one is for you. I don't know about you if you like salt or sweet. I definitely like sweet snacks most, but Pontus likes salty ones and I know a lot of you like salt ones. Normally I would use like regular popcorn um, kernels, but I don't have any oil, so I'm not gonna use these ones today. By the way, before you ask about my beautifully organized pantry, I actually made a video about how I organized this and yeah, you find that video on my YouTube channel like two videos back. Back to the recipe. So I'm gonna go up here and grab some popcorn. I'm using just regular salted popcorn that you have in the microwave and this one is only oil and salt. So I'm gonna pop these and then I'm gonna go ahead to the next step. ingredient is nutritional yeast. If you're not familiar with nutritional yeast, it's often found in the health section in your store or like in health uh, shops. Like in Sweden, for example, you can find them in the live stores. So the reason I add nutritional yeast is to get a more like cheesy flavor. I'm crushing it between my fingers and just adding it on top. Give it a shake, then add some more. Give it a try and keep adding nutritional yeast until you have like the flavor you want. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Try it once more. When I was a kid, I always bought like a cheese spice flavor and this one really reminds me of that. And we have arrived to our last snack recipe. Um, I'm gonna make a nacho cheese sauce, which you can dip things in. This vegan cheese sauce is one of Pronto's favorites and that's why I'm including it because I think a lot of you will love it as well. And the recipe is actually from my app, the Five Health app. Instead of melting like vegan cheese, we're actually gonna make it from cashew nuts. And it's not as hard as you may think. Step number one in the recipe says that you should boil the cashew nuts uh, so that they get soft. But if you have a high speed blender like I do, I can link mine down below and you can read more about it. If you have a high speed blender, you don't need to soak these ones. You can just add them straight into the blender. I'm gonna add a half cup of cashew nuts. When you have boiled the cashew nuts for five minutes, if you don't have a high speed blender, you could just drain them off and then add them into the blender. Then I'm adding a quarter cup of nutritional yeast or four tablespoons. One teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a half teaspoon onion powder, and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Next ingredients we're gonna add is this tapioca flour. It is a starch, so this is the one that makes the cheese sauce like stretchy. And if you don't have tapioca flour, you can also use arrowroot uh, powder. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of this one. Last, we're gonna add a cup of plant milk. You can also use water, but I think it gets more like creamy with plant milk. Put the lid on and blend on high until this becomes super smooth and creamy. This one looks super thin right now, but once you start heating this up, it will be super thick and super stretchy. Okay, here you need some patience because this one is going to cook on medium heat for about a couple of minutes and you have to stir the whole time because otherwise there will be lumps or bumps. You will notice when it's done because you will have it like a stretchy sauce and don't overdo it because it will thicken more the more it cools off. But if it do become like too thick, you just add in more plant milk when you're done and you stir it in to combine and you will have a thinner cheese sauce. Now I think mine is starting to get the consistency that I like. Before I forgot to mention, you can actually do this sauce without the nuts. You just skip the nuts and use the same ingredients and you heat it up with the tapioca starch and it will be stretchy as well. But I like adding cashew nuts because it gets more creamy and you get more proteins, um, minerals and vitamins from the cashew nuts. So yeah, 
I just really like adding cashew nuts. So you can have this sauce on like anything you like. You can have it on broccoli, on baked potato, on pizza, salads, or as we're gonna do with this snack. I'm gonna dip tortilla chips or in the US it's maybe called nachos. It's chips anyways. So I'm gonna dip these into the sauce. So I'm gonna put this sauce into a bowl and then we can try it. to pull the curtains down. Okay, so we have five snacks. It's the date bombs and banana bites and then the chips plus the nacho cheese sauce. And then we have the yogurt blueberry bites and the cheesy popcorn. It would be very fun and interesting to know which one you would choose first. I would choose some of these. So that's what I'm gonna try first. I sliced up the banana pieces and this is how it looks. It tastes like it's ice cream with peanut butter and chocolate. Who can say no to that? Next one is the date bomb. It looks like this. Mm. So far, that is definitely my favorite. Don't go easy on the peanut butter because it just gets better the more peanut butter you have. Okay, I'm also gonna dig into the nacho cheese sauce. It may have been very long time ago I ate like cheese, but it really tastes like cheese sauce, which is pretty cool. I call them the yogurt blueberry balls or bites. You can eat them with your fingers or with a spoon. And they're just like very refreshing and sweet. And you can also use like sweet and vegan yogurt to get them more sweet. But I think the coconut flavor and the blueberry flavor together is a perfect match. Who eats just one popcorn at a time? The popcorn with the nutritional yeast is, is so good. I think it's actually my second favorite after the date bombs. So date bombs, popcorn, banana bites, and then the nachos and then the blueberries. So we're gonna try and find a video or a movie on Netflix and feast. I hope you liked this video and that you got some new inspiration. Let me know in the comments down below which of these uh, snacks you would pick first. That would be very fun to know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't and then I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.